because like you said, when people join, they don't want to tell their family or they're writing a book in part because of how personal it feels. Do you have any mm -hmm. recommendations for the listeners who are exploring that? Yeah. And when you think about it, like to separate again, to separate yourself from the characters a little bit so you can actually feel like you're telling their story, even if you are telling your own story, you're telling past you, not current you's mm -hmm. story. We all have different parts of ourselves that we like left along the way in order to get here. So you're recalling and chatting with those pieces of yourself. You're chatting with those elements that believed X, Y, Z thing at that period of time or who was a kid or who was a teenager. Like, yes, that is you, but it's also not you now. There's a yes and component, which is the same as, you know, you're not a 10 foot tall alien woman on Mars right now, which you're telling the story <laughs> perspective from like, that's also not you. So you can channel in knowing that like, yes, you might have a kinship. You might have similar things as the characters in your book. And that's wonderful. That's a point of relating to them, which is great, but it is inherently not you in this present moment. And that gives you some freedom to really play around with that character arc and play around with the theme of that. 